Europe is a continent that boasts of some of the best and highly visited countries in the world. With big dreams, limited time, and a budget, I set out on a journey to explore 10 European countries in 26 days. Here's how I plan my trip. Paris has everything to offer, from the artsy Louvre Museum to the Tower of Love, Eiffel. Visit the world's largest museum in Paris, the Louvre Museum. Get mesmerized in the symbol of love, the Eiffel Tower. After spending two days in Paris, take a five and a half hours bus ride to Bordeaux. Stroll through the iconic mirror fountain and enjoy a delicious meal at a Punjabi restaurant. A bus ride to Spain is not complete without visiting the highest sand dune at Dune of Pelé. Explore the resort town of San Sebastian by visiting the city hall to lounging on the beach. Alright guys, I am at St. Sebastian City Hall. As you know, it's Europe and it's known for its wonderful piece of architecture. And there's a cool thing to show. I was talking about the Jesus statue. You can see the right beside the road is the Jesus statue. A must visit attraction on the way to Barcelona is the Zaragoza Cathedral. On reaching Barcelona, spend two days exploring the city by visiting the iconic Sagrada Familia, round the clock parties, and street wide. Spend the second day in Barcelona by exploring the beauty of Montjuic Castle and enjoy an evening at the Flamenco Show. Nice, France, and it's absolutely stunning out here. Nice is nicknamed Nice à la Bella, which means beautiful. It gets 300 days of sunshine. Spend your day in Nice by exploring the main square, the market, and the beach. The trip to Monaco is not complete without visiting the Monte Carlo Casino. I'm here in Cinque Terre, the city of Monterosso, and the views are just ecstatic. After the dramatic beauty of Cinque Terre, head to Florence by taking a stop in Pisa and visit the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. I'm here at Leaning Tower of Pisa and this is tall. It's 183 feet tall and it took them 199 years to complete it. It started tilting towards 12th century when this was constructed and it took some remedial work in 2001. Take a one and a half hours bus ride to the beautiful city of Florence and indulge in some spaghetti and gelato. I am here in the city of Florence and it's beautiful out here. I'm here in the main square. Here I go with my first bite. Time for some Italian gelato. <laughs> Soak in the plunging mountainside and glittering waters by taking a bus ride to the Malfi Coast from Florence. I am here at Malfi Coast and it's absolutely stunning. It was regarded as one of the UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997 because of scenic and sheer beauty and absolutely stunning coastline. After Amalfi, make a visit to the ancient city of Pompeii. The 
city was buried under ash 2000 years ago and it was discovered under excavations. Take a tour guide in the ancient city or indulge in some tiramisu. Take a bus ride from Pompeii to Rome and visit the Rome Colosseum. Here at the Roman Colosseum, it's one of the seven wonders of the world. It attracts about 7.5 million tourists annually. It has a great Roman Catholic church connection for which Pope leads a torch-led procession on every Good Friday. On reaching Vatican City in Rome, visit the home of Pope at the Vatican Museum. I am here in Vatican and it's the city of Egypt, it's called the Holy City. And with an area of around 110 acres and population of just 1,000 people. Spend a day in Venice taking the gondola ride or stroll through St. Mark's Square and end your day indulging in Italian pizza. I am at one of the best pizza places, it's called Rosco Modoro and it serves the best for fire pizza. I have here the basic margarita. Mm, it's piping hot and I've got the burst of flavor. in Salzburg, Austria and I am right here at Mozart Platz. This is the birthplace of Mozart, the classical musician. The city is also one of the most inspiring cities because of its rich history and culture. I feel ecstatic being here. I can already hear the sounds of music. And by the way, the sounds of music, some portion was sought right here in Salzburg, Austria. beauty of Austria, make your way to Prague, full of castles, cathedrals and Gothic architecture. I'm here in Prague and it doesn't get more beautiful than this. Right beside me is the world's astronomical clock. It was installed here in 1410 and it's the third most oldest clock in the world. I'm in Czech Republic, I'm in Prague and I'm standing at Prague Castle. It's one of the biggest castles in the history of architectures. It's also listed for its size in the Guinness Book of World Records, which is 70,000 square meters. Spend your second day in Prague exploring the old square of Prague. And now I'm gonna dig into some traditional Czech ice cream. Here in Prague at the old square. And this looks Let's give it a try. Pack your bags and head to the first stop in Germany, to the famous city of Dresden, which was once destroyed in World War II. I'm in Germany and I'm in Dresden. It's the capital city of Saxony, one of the regions in Germany. The city was completely destroyed in 1945 during Second World War. And it was brought to its original shape. The city was completely rebuilt to its original shape after the World War. The church that you see right behind me uh, was destroyed during that time and it has been recently brought to its original version. Some of the must-visit attractions of Dresden is the main square and the Dresden Cathedral. After Dresden, take your next stop to Berlin and explore the famous University Square and Berlin Wall. Spend the next day in Berlin exploring the 18th century Brandenburg Gate. I'm here in Berlin, the capital city of Germany, and I'm standing right here at Brandenburg Gate. It's one of the 18 gates of Berlin. Explore 
explore the electric city of Amsterdam full of pretty canals, quaint cafes and museums. That's how I planned my European journey. If you liked watching the video, please do hit like, share it, follow and subscribe to Curly Tales for some awesome content. This is Aki, signing off.